Ah, welcome back to the Papa Balloon Show from the fabulously appointed Double Wide Studios in East Marion, Iowa. Today I've got something really kind of fun and simple for you. I like to do the I like to do simple stuff, but I also like to embellish, and this is the big thing. A tiny bit of embellishment takes very little time and makes things so much more memorable and more fun. And the trick here is you want people when you do your balloon programs, when you do your balloon work, you want people to say, I want Papa Balloon or whoever you are to come and do my show. You don't want them to say, oh, hey, we have a, a fun fair. Let's get a balloon guy. Okay. Let's get somebody who does those cool balloons. Okay. You want them to say you. You want them to want your balloons. You want your stuff to be memorable. So to do that, add a little bit, something unique and a touch that adds to what you do. I can, I'll show you my lion. Start with a goldenrod balloon. I like goldenrod. You can use almost any color. I just tend to go with that. Okay, there's goldenrod balloon. Leave yourself about four fingers on the end. Um, make about a two-inch bubble. Another two-inch bubble. It's back there. That's the muzzle of the of the, of the uh, lion. Now make it really kind of a long four-finger head and back down. All right. Well, that's going to be his head. All right. I like to make him lying down, so I'll give him a neck. His front leg. Hands are squeaky this morning. So it's just like the original balloon dog, only you just double the muzzle. All right, look at what you have left. Take about a third of that, twist off a bubble, twist off another bubble, and then roll this through or tie it or what have you. that's your basic structure right there. It just looks like a slightly deformed dog and you just roll the legs over. Okay? Now for the mane of the lion, take a mocha. You don't need much. Give yourself about that much. Tie it in right here. Oh, this is actually caramel. This is a metallic at 260B. Twist off a series of small bubbles. Give it three or four twists each time. And make a series of bubbles. Up and over his head. You want some tension. You want some tension on this because you want to hold it. Okay, now there's a lion. You can, if you wish, stop right there. That takes you 30 seconds, if that, tops. If you do it with just a single here, that's fine. Step one towards embellishing. Take a little bubble. bubble with the caramel tuck it in like that then wrap it around the nose once and bring it back kind of tuck, haul it back So he has a little, an actual nose. Um, I do that with my dogs too. Make three little whisker marks. You can do that. Step two, add a tongue. If you have heart balloons, 
You can do that and add a little tongue to it. I do that with a dog as well, okay? The third step, and I think the part that really sells this, is take a scrap of white. You're going to have scraps of white. Let me face it, you're going to. Tie it off. Cut it off. Now here's the fun part. I don't have my red marker with me, but you can put red here and red slashes, but at the base, Make it look like a zebra leg and tie it in here. And it depends on your own feelings. I like to, I don't have my red marker, I would do it. But, you know, make it look like it's a piece torn off of a zebra. You know, just draw a little red on there. Red slashes for the lion's slash marks with his claws and stuff. And <laughs> little boys love it. <laughs> little boys love this. The first time I tried this, um, the little boy I gave it to went, cool, and ran away with it. The mom gave me a disgusted look and walked off, but she still gave me money. <laughs> and the fun part was that this is something that little kids love. Do something a little weird and a little outrageous. You don't have to be terrible, but add something that will make your lion look good or make your characters look good. A horse is great, but a horse with a mane is cool. A horse with a mane and a, and a horn on its head is a unicorn. You know, there's so many things you can do that makes your work memorable. A few marks with a sharpie, if you add a couple of things on there. Learn a little bit about cartooning. Go look in a, find a cartooning book, a cheap cartooning book. Look online for cartooning characters or cartooning sites and you'll find a lot of fascinating things out there. Study cartoons on TV. That's one of the things I do. I mean, I, I don't have to study them. I watch them with my grandchildren. But you'll see an awful lot of fun things. Um, my grandson thinks this is great with the line with the red marker on it and of course yeah moms are going to go ooh and even and dads will laugh you know usually so take time to look at your work make it cool make it fun it takes seconds to add a little embellishment you know you can and the best part is you can take this get the line done put the mane on him and then, oh, hey, I know, put a nose on it. And then, ooh, 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 I know, here's something else. And you take another one. Then you can, at that point, say, but wait, there's more. And you make the little, make the thing. And you can always, you can just build this. You have to remember that what we're doing is not vending. We are not vendors when we do these. We are artists. And it's equal parts performance and craft. If you make a craft item, that's great. Make a craft iron. Have a great time. Do a lot of them. But more importantly, make it a sale. Make it a, uh, uh, just sell the show. You know, um, work it. You know, make, make each piece an individual artwork designed for that person. Even if you only have one child there, make this a show for them to remember. And that's a very important point to remember about this. Doing anything, card tricks. Um, a card trick is the most boring thing in the world, but if someone who does it is very good at it and a very good presenter, then they come out right. Uh, one of my mem most memorable things, and people tend to miss this all the time, the movie Megamind, at the end of it, or near the end, when he is talking to his enemy, um, Titan, who says, there's not room in this town for two supervillains. And Megamind says, yeah, you might be a villain, but you're not a supervillain. Titan yells back, well, what's the difference? And the next thing you see is clouds and, and fabulous things happening. And Megamind comes out on the tongue of his 
avatar that's huge and big in the sky throws out his arms and yells, presentation. And that's exactly what you do. You need to produce a presentation. Have a thing that you're working on and make this a show. Even if it's only 30 seconds, make it a show. Enjoy yourselves. Thank you for watching me and putting up with my silliness. But from the Papa Balloon show at the Double Wide Studios in beautiful East Marion, Iowa, thank you very much and have a great day. Thank you.